everybody, and welcome to Dakman Productions, and welcome to Conahe Rail. Uh, for those who don't know, I have been working on a Conahe Rail project boxcar based on a Atlas O uh, 60 foot boxcar. Uh, this was pretty much a very low budget boxcar uh, project. Um, most people think you need hundreds of dollars worth of equipment to, to put something like this together. Um, I'll show you how I did this uh, on a very low budget um, and still make what I would call a tenor, meaning that, you know, <laughs> that was a term we, we used to use back in my day, but tenor meaning it looks good from 10 foot or more away. But uh, I, I was actually uh, surprised for being low budget of how well it came out. And I'll show you how I did this. So here's a better look at Project Conahe Rail um, 60 foot boxcar that I ended up uh, building or making. Uh, I created this on a Atlas uh, 60 foot uh, boxcar which so happened to be an anniversary boxcar. <laughs> uh, the reason why I bought it is because it was cheap and so I figured I would uh, strip it down and make it into a Conahe rail after my railroad uh, but here's a tip for you guys uh, if you're looking to make a custom run make sure it's something that is either undecorated but sometimes you can find used uh, train cars and road name that nobody wants cheaper than what you can buy and a brand new undecorated for so if you're going to look for something to strip make sure that it doesn't have um, a lot of uh, colors to it like this anniversary card did. Um, you can basically strip them down. Uh, people ask, what do you use to strip the, these cars down with? I've seen people reply with brake fluid and stuff like that. The best thing to do is use a isopropyl alcohol and, and let it soak. Uh, it won't take long with these Atlas O uh, box cars because it doesn't seem like they use a lot of paint. Uh, applied on them so maybe that's why they scratch so easy but uh, so once I got it stripped um, most of you guys were like okay so what kind of uh, paint did you use what kind of uh, machine did you did you use a little portable spray paint I've seen people you know more professional models than me uh, go out and make a paint booth and they have these nice little uh, badger spray paint guns you know the little miniature guns and stuff and that's fine if you're going to be doing a lot of this or professionally but for me this was a one time deal uh, I just wanted to you know do something as far as custom painting one time so what I did is um, believe it or not I actually used a uh, Rust-Oleum primer and I primed it in this gray and then after that I taped it up and I painted the white first with a, a rust oleum two times ultra cover and that's how the white got painted on the doors and the top and I know they tell you not to mix spray names when you're spray painting but I did anyway and I chanced it but the only color that I liked was one made by Krylon. So I sprayed the Krylon over the Rust-Oleum primer and as you can see it, it came out just fine. Uh, so after that the next thing was to design my graphics. Um, a lot of these graphics, well actually all of them, these were designed on a basic program that most laptops come with called Paint, a paint program. Um, all your computers up until Windows 10 I believe but I'm sure it's all up to Windows 8.1 I don't know if 10 has it don't quote me on it but I know every uh, uh, Windows program from 8.1 and below had a program in it called paint it's in your accessories and then you'll find paint and that's where I designed a lot of my decals uh, with a free low budget uh, program and then um, once I got the decals uh, or the, the programming done 
what I did is I, I printed out on regular plain paper. I wish I saved some of that. But, uh, and then I would, I would see if I liked the size of the font using plain paper. And once I was happy with the paper, I decided to give it a shot to make my own decals. And uh, this is what I used, inkjet water slide decal paper. I bought this on Amazon. Now, before you even think about going out and running right out and buying this, please wait for my review. Um, so, the first attempt that I made of printing my decals was pretty much a, a disaster. <laughs> uh, I put the decal paper in the water and the ink came right off of it. And I'm like, well, what happened? So I went back and read the inst actual instructions over again. So after you print uh, your decals, you have to use a clear acrylic spray, uh, spray paint over the uh, decal paper. So you let the ink dry. Uh, I let mine dry for a good hour or two hours. And then I went and bought um, this Rust-Oleum Matte Clear. And I ended up spray painting the decals uh, with this clear. And it says to give it three coats, which I did do. And the second time I applied them, uh, it was pretty good. Until I tried to do the yellow on the dark blue. Uh, once again, that's when I had a couple issues. The... The decal paper works great if you're using it on uh, light colors such as white, grays, anything light colored. Unfortunately, if you're using it on a blue color or a darker color it, and you're printing yellow, it doesn't come out too well. So I went ahead and bought the O-Gage decals uh, online off of eBay. Um, and these yellow lines were also off of eBay as well. Uh, so I would rate this decal paper. I would probably give it, uh, well, it did work for the most part. I would give it three out of five stars. So maybe it would work better on a different printer, uh, on a darker color. But I was using a Hewitt Packard uh, printer, in case you were wondering. So, um,. That was my low budget um, box car. So I basically got got the box car uh, for thirty bucks, and then you know three cans, or actually four cans of paint and a water slide decal uh, paper. So um, I'm pretty happy with the results, uh, but I just wanted to share you guys uh, with um, your. Uh, what the end results were as far as this and and uh, I probably would do one more for 20 uh, CRX 2020 maybe on at this uh, uh, cylinder hopper for Conahay Rail 5th anniversary but um, so if you're looking to do a, a low budget and try something on your end I, I think this is one of the ways you can go and I uh, hope this video helps and the tips that I gave you and and so forth and so on. You can see the different stages on my Dacman Productions Facebook page. Uh, I do have a Facebook page, so you guys are, are invited to look there as well. So, um, I did make a, a run with this in the, in the train, so hope you guys enjoy the run. Thank you. Bye.